Hey guys, Shin here with another tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to do re uh, reverberation, pulsing, or echo-like effects. Uh, usually I don't edit like this. I usually have my preview window on another screen, so I've already just drug out a lot of clips and placed them on the track, and we'll be dragging uh, and using them from here. So let's just grab a clip to start off. Let's grab this one. What is it? Okay, looks like Mia's singing. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Oh, not that far. Should be good. And let's zoom in on it. Okay, let's drop, let's drop it down more. And what we're going to want to do first for this one, to get the really basic uh, kind of pulse effect, is let's split it up in three spots. We're going to do this three times. And let's just drag this over, it doesn't matter which direction, all we're doing is uh, overlaying the exact same frame over the other frame, so it's going to look exactly the same as you can see here. We're just going to do that for each one. We want to have it at least 13 frames long, well, 12 frames is good, I guess. T anywhere between 12 and 20, anything above that is might be getting a little too long for a pulse, and anything below that's going to go by too quick. So we're going to put this one at 15. Let's make this one. Let's make this one 12. This one can be. That can be 14. So. And what we want to do now is we want to take. Uh, go to our transitions panel if you're not already there. Transitions. Back to cross effect. And then we're going to choose cross zoom A only again. We're going to drop the zoom. We're going to lower the zoom down to about anywhere between 2 and 20, depending on what you want to do exactly, how hard, like how how zoomed in you want it to be. But we're going to I'm going to just set it to about 4.87 just you know, you know four, let's just say 5ish. Now let's take a look at what we have. And that's your basic pulse-like effect. That's the easy way to do the pulses. Uh, there's another way you can do it. Uh, it's not really any harder, uh, you, but it takes a few more steps. Uh, it'll get you about the same results, but it'll give you a little bit more control in what exactly you want it to do, so I'll show you that. Let's just highlight this section and copy that. So we have that. It's going to be the exact same clip, so it's going to look the same whether that's there or not. We want to put this in its own track, so if you didn't create a track, create one and drop it in there. I want to lower the opacity down for this one. And what we want to do next is we want to go in here to our pan crop, go all the way to the end, and just zoom that in really far. Then maybe add a little bit of a fade at the end. And it should look similar to the cross effect thing we just did. So, but it all, this also, we can do a lot of other things with this. We can drag this over here. Probably don't want it zoomed in so much. Oops, I had me create another point where I didn't want to. Let me fix that really quick. So just, you know, do it sooner. Zoom it in to about right there. And then we'll have it restored right there. So now it's going to look kind of like a reverberation effect where it comes out and then comes back in you know, pulses out, ticks back in. And you can mess around with this any way you want. You can expand this, copy these, make even more points, have it do it a few times even. You know, like if you have a heartbeat going, you can have place it to a heartbeat effect. Change the 
timing of them, stagger them a little bit, depending on the rhythm of the song. Even mess around with these, create different kind of effects. And you don't necessarily have to just do it with the same clip, with the overlapping the same frames for that kind of a smoothness. You can take you know just two any two clips and do it. So I'm going to do that right now. Drag that over here. What do we have? Okay, we got Azignan playing the guitar, so I'll put that there for now. And what's this one? We got Ritsu, looks like playing the drums, I think. Let's expand it a little bit. Oops. There we go. Uh, one thing we can do here is, I'll show you something, uh, another thing. Uh, let's, we're going to try to time this with the drum beat, so let's look for the drum when she hits the drums here. So right about there, let's split this up three times. And, okay, drum beats again. Right about there, so we're going to take this first clip, and we want to set it back probably maybe one or two frames right before she actually hits the drum. So for that one, and lower the opacity down. Let's find the other drum beats, right about there. Drag again, about the same thing. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's grab this and zoom in. And I think, she's, let's see if she hits it a third time anyway. Yeah, right about there. So um, let's let's uh, thin these out a little bit. They might be too long. And just drop the opacity on every single one of these. And we're going to want to, I'm just going to use the cross effect on this one rather than the pan method. That takes a little bit longer. Let's span that a little bit more. And we're going to take our cross zoom A again. Just drop it in there. Drop it around to the same number, about four or five. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to create a RAM preview really quick, just so it runs smoothly. And there's that effect. We got it so it looks like uh, Ritsu's heart beats for Azignan here so, while she's playing her drums. So I hope you all found, or well at least maybe some of you found this useful. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.